Hi, we're the Vanderlux. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoy the service. We're glad you're here and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God be with you. Let us pray. O oh Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Job, chapter 38, verses 1 through 11. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the storm. He said, Who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Brace yourself like a man. I will question you, 
and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked out its dimension? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? On what were its footing set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. Who shut up the sea behind doors? But it burst forth from the womb. When I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness, when I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place, when I said, this far you may come and no farther, here is where your proud waves halt. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of our Lord. Good morning. Good morning. It's lovely to see each other, and I'm glad to meet so many of you on this day. And I want to thank the volunteers and staff who have made this possible on very short notice, and 
allow incarcerated people to work for no compensation. <clears throat> Isabel Wilkerson said, no current day adult will be alive in the year in which African Americans, as a group, will have been free for as long as they have been enslaved. That will not come till 2111. We have our work to do, and Jesus comes not just to calm us, but to be the calm, to show us a trust in God so deep, not that God can fix things, but that God is present. As one commentator said, we tend to thank God when things are going well. Everything happens for a reason. It's God's plan. What Jesus shows us that in the midst of things not going well, when there are storms and tumults and whirlwinds and our boats are being swamped, God comes as the calm. God in the midst of us. In our strife and struggle. Let us celebrate the good things. And let us all look around right now. I mean it, look around. I know we're visible. But take a moment to look around and notice that our calm does not just come from inside us. Jesus calls two or three to be together. And we are fortunate that we can do that now in person and virtually. The disciples, at the end of this gospel lesson, look around once again and say, Who then is this? Jesus had no birthright, which was very important in this culture, to the authority he proclaimed. And I think we still wonder, who then is this? And we are called back to our baptismal covenant. Will all of you present do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. We will. We will not just at our baptism moment, but throughout our journeys, throughout changes in our world, in our personal lives, in our church life. We will do all in our power to support each other in our life in Christ. Amen.
Prayers of the People I ask your prayer for God's people throughout the world, for our bishop, Mark, and for all ministers and people. We pray for our wardens and vestry as they lead our parish in searching for a new rector. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for peace in all who work to bring health and wholeness. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and all of those in need. Pray for those who are in need of God's strength and healing. I invite you to pray for those close to you, for families, friends, that they may know of Christ's joy and peace in their lives. This week, we especially pray for John and Shelley Pasco, Brenda Pineda and family, Pamela Allen, Charles Vaughn, Jim Hansen, Bonnie Merrick, Diane Miller, Forrest family, Michelle Sloat, Susan Lawson, Villy Young, Laura Cope, John and Arlene Borgeson, Nate Price, Michelle Blair, Nan Casulos, Tom Bryce, Renee and Bert Kenny, Wally Clevisall. Jim Prescott, the Murdoff family, especially Charlotte, the Gura family, especially Dylan, and Walt and Jean Marcus. I ask your prayers for the departed. Please add your own prayers for those who have died. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hello, everybody. Just a couple announcements this weekend. First off, it's Father's Day, and although it's not a religious holiday, just like Mother's Day, it's a sacred day. So whatever your relationship with fatherhood is, we know every parental um, relational uh, oh, I don't know, connection could be both difficult and life-giving. We want you to go ahead and center whatever relationship you have, and we pray for God's blessing on, um, on you, your life, and healing in that relationship. In particular, we want to extend a, a special blessing to the fathers out there. And so, if you wouldn't mind calling to mind any father, um, particularly in your family, that you may know, go ahead and take a moment and imagine that person. If that person is near you, go ahead and lay a hand on their shoulder if they'd like this blessing. And together, we offer this this weekend. We give our thanks, Creator God, for the fathers in our lives. Fatherhood does not come with a manual, and the reality teaches us that some fathers excel while others fail. We ask for your blessings for all of them and forgiveness where it is needed. This Father's Day, we remember the many sacrifices fathers make for their children and families and the ways, both big and small, they lift children to achieve dreams thought beyond reach. 
so too we remember all those who have helped fill the void when fathers pass early or are absent. Grandfathers and uncles, brothers and cousins, teachers, pastors and coaches, all the men who reveal your love one day at a time, best as they are able. For those who are fathers, we ask for wisdom and humility in the face of the task of parenting. Give them the strength to do well by their children and by you, day by day. In your holy name, O God, we pray. Let us all say, Amen. For our second announcement, um, it is Pride Month, June, and we would like to invite you to a Pride service um, where we give thanks for all of God's children, all of us, and particularly celebrate um, that we come in a diversity of uh, ways that we express love. And so uh, Sunday, we will not only have an in-person service and our virtual, but we will also have coffee hour. So more details in your email. And if you'd like to know more information, just go ahead and email us um, sometime this week and we'll give that to you. And our final announcement is uh, we've been trying to add the prayers list back. And if you would have, um, if you have special interest in suggesting a person to pray for, would you email me or Jen? Go ahead and find our emails back online or in those, um, in the email blasts that we send out once, twice a week. And uh, we'll be sure to add them too. So whether or not their name is voiced or not, know that you and all those you love and all those we have yet to know and love are always in our prayers. So God bless. Have a great weekend. Peace. to the other side who offers us peace and stillness. Bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let us go forth rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you. 